Hi, this is The Truth of Love and this is Clutch. Today's topic, maturity versus compatibility. Now, before I get started, I do want to remind you that my coaching practices are still up and running. If you're interested in getting a private coaching session, you can access that information on my website at www.thetruthoflove.net. With that said, let's get started. So maturity versus compatibility. This is a topic that really resonates with yours truly um, on a personal level because I have said in the past and I will continue to say the term compatibility is not something I tend to believe in. Instead what I tend to believe is individuals that are capable of changing key characteristics that tend to be deal breakers for the other person. As we spend more time with these individuals and as we start accepting them for what they are, we will start seeing red flags. In fact, it's perfectly normal to start seeing a red flag in someone, especially once the honeymoon phase is over and we start getting into more of that intimate power struggle phase. And of course, as we start building this relationship with this individual person, we will start realizing that there are characteristics that this person portrays that we might not necessarily agree with. For example, they might have a different concept on physical fitness. They might have a different concept on financial controls. They might have a different concept on love languages and how they choose to portray their love. Of course, we as individuals might have a completely separate upbringing and depending on our attachment styles, we might essentially state, this is not the way I believe things happen to be, or this is not the way I grew up at the very least on how this communication was established or how these issues were resolved. I know that in one of my past relationships, um, the issues of money usually came up and whenever I confronted this person on this particular subject, she had confided in me that the reason that money was such a large issue for her was because her parents would essentially parentify her when it came to financial issues. So she would often be a subject to issues such as the money being short or um, constant stress in the family due to financial constraints. You know, dad is sick and wasn't able to work this week or the family business is going under or whatever issue happened to have popped up. And as a result of it, she actively seeks individuals in her dating attachment that has to do with the notion of them being financially successful, them having a good sense of financial standing and, and good sense of financial income. And it's not necessarily that this is a bad thing. We all want a level of security. We all want that level of consistency. And most importantly, specifically from the women's perspective, we all want that level of safety. But with that level of safety also comes a sense of responsibility. And this is where we really start defining what compatibility is versus what maturity is. Compatibility, in my honest opinion, has to do everything with the person's level of entitlement versus their level of investment in a relationship. This is really contradictory, especially when you're dealing with people that tend to be very superficial, where all of a sudden, there, it's not the notion of what we can do to fix the relationship. It's mainly what you can do to fix the relationship. And of course, we get into that aspect of, well, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? And we can spend all day debating about what this concept actually means. At the same time, there is a sense of self-awareness that I expect most of you on my channel to be aligned with. If you're listening to these videos, you are on a path of self-improvement. You are on a path of truly discovering yourselves for what you actually are. But that path of self-discovery and the path of self-improvement includes one key factor that I really need to hit home here. And that key factor is a level of maturity. Level of maturity isn't necessarily stating that I'm going to be more mature when it comes to certain jokes. Like for those of you that are on the Discord, you all happen to know I have a very, very dirty sense of humor. At the same time, when it comes to relationship coaching, I have a level of maturity where I disassociate that sense of humor and associate a level of seriousness to the situation. Why? Because it's my responsibility to associate that level of maturity in that specific situation. So all of a sudden, it becomes a dynamic of what my partner can do for me, and more importantly, what I can do for my partner. That is the defining factor in what we call compatibility. And of course, this concept of compatibility usually gets thrown in as a form of stating, well, the relationship just didn't work. 
I disagree with that. I have seen many situations where individuals who were truly incompatible early on in their lives both go on their separate directions. They both mature. They both build their characters. Maybe one person lacked financial control and the other person put too much emphasis on the physical attributes of the other person. And as they start gaining experience and start dating other people, they'll start realizing what their true value cores happen to be. And of course, as we get into relationship as, and as we start triggering our core wounds and discovering that they're actually there, we can stop looking externally at other people and pointing the figure and issuing the blame and instead looking internally within ourselves and determining this is why I am insecure. This is why I need to address these certain characteristics. And I don't mind talking about my own experience. For a very long time, up until my last relationship, I would often point the finger at my family for their toxic treatment of yours truly. And I'm not saying that that didn't have a factor in how I developed, but at the same time, I did develop the way I did as a direct result of that treatment. Not to justify my mistreatment, don't get me wrong, Everyone has to have a sense of responsibility, no matter what the relationship happens to be, whether it be platonic, romantic, or family-based. But the idea is that when we're building our own characters and we're taking our sense of responsibility back, we have to take into account the notion that there are certain things that are within our realm of control and certain things that are not within our realm of control. These things that happen to not be within our realm of control happen to do with the actions of another person. So that maturity level and that specific understanding of that maturity helps me define when a person decides to leave my life. When that person decides to state, I don't believe you can make me happy. I don't believe that you are the best that I can achieve. In fact, I'm willing to bet that I can achieve better than you. This is a very hard reality for most of you to hear as a dumpy, because as a dumpy, we have more than likely, if it's reached this scenario, put an excessive amount of value in this other person. And like I've mentioned before, uh, a lot of people have asked me, well, what defines power dynamics in a relationship? And I've always said control. Your ability to walk away from a situation and take it back right away it eases that level of anxiety. As we start separating from our spouses and as we go into no contact and as it, more importantly, we start to mature as individuals and discover what made us incompatible with this other person and start addressing those issues, the more we will start being self-forgiving. Because if this spouse that has left us was indeed so perfect and so understanding of what incompatibility was and what the issues were in the relationship, they would have been able to address them. In the relationship. This is the notion of being human. This is the notion of being imperfect. And this is the notion that I absolutely hate dumpers go through. And I've had to yell at some of you during our coaching sessions because you feel the sense of entitlement. Well, I left him because he was lazy. I left her because she was manipulating me. No one can manipulate you without your direct permission. And this is the notion that we need to really internalize. This is the notion that we really truly need to understand, both as the dumpy and as the dumper. It took two people to destroy this relationship. And understanding that it took two people, and understanding that I have my flaws and you have yours, and that we're doing our best to address these flaws in our time apart, will allow me to mature. And if we're lucky, we can make this work. But of course, that takes a sense of bravery and, most importantly, a sense of maturity from in order to do so. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my episode. If you did, I would ask that you hit the thumbs up icon below. For those of you that are interested in coaching practices, you can find information regarding that on my website at www.thetruthoflove.net. And of course, if you're interested in interacting with our community, feel free to join the Discord. Information regarding that can be found in the description below. With that said, this is Clutch, signing off.